Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Queen Camilla Betrayed by Advisor offers insight into King Charles' relationship I swear, the royal drama never ends. Now, as we enter this new time in history with the rumors about Queen Camilla feeling betrayed and her rumored rift with Charles it is also a metaphor. Far from a husband and wife row, the aides said this exposed serious fractures at the heart of the royal household including between William and Harry. She is still talking. Even suggesting Camilla and Charles are in trouble will rock the monarchy to its Wellingtons. If these allegations prove to be true, the ramifications would certainly be profound. The supposed betrayal is a jumble of political types and personal peaks. The woman once dismissed as loyal but stayed is said not only to feel more personally and less publicly sidelined now, but she is said to have told friends that she wants no part of the circus anymore. Her betrayal has been arised because she began to feel unseen, so unimportant that their marriage even dived the opposite way. It reads like a plot from a Shakespearean play, only this time, it's playing out in the gilded halls of Buckingham Palace. Now, what caused this fallout? Sources claimed that Camilla and Charles fell out over politics. The Camilla, a byword for common sense, was at loggerheads with Charles on all the big issues and believed her voice was getting lost in the royal noise. At first glance, this might simply be another royal scuffle one among many but the timing of this story is key. Her unhappiness, it was alleged, deepened as she found herself more and more extraneous to the royal machinery, having felt sidelined within that system. Camilla reportedly believes that despite her years of duty, the only opinion that currently matters in her position is what people outside think. And this sense of being undervalued could not only damage her personal cred but the image of unity the monarchy still struggle to uphold. If correct, it would represent a sea change within the royal family with consequences going forward. Their troubles between Camilla and Charles appear to run deeper than routine marital disagreements. The extra pressure on Camilla and Charles's marriage comes down partly to differing ambitions and pressures within the royal family, says the advisor. This week's crisis all of this did lead one to the broader question of whether or not it was reflective of a larger problem that is being faced and appearing more often in modern times with the British monarchy. As the political sands continue to shift and while public executive interest increases, cracks are starting to appear within party ranks and Camilla may be merely the first of them. So, it is apparent that she is struggling in other avenues as well, and presumably her relationship with Charles. The advisor also alleges tensions with other senior royals, specifically Prince William and Catherine. That itself is predictable. It created a complex situation for the queen consorts with the future king and queen. William's relationship with Camilla, a figure who has long been regarded with suspicion by many royal observers, has never been easy as she was the woman his father married when she and Charles were having an affair while he was still married to Diana. Catherine, too, has been adamant that her family comes first and that Prince William and the kids are her number one priority which could suggest she wouldn't be in favor of any potential stepmother influence from Camilla. It also claims that these tensions may have been partly responsible for Camilla's marriage to Charles breaking down. If correct, this could only serve to further inflame tensions within the royal family and generate conditions for an all-out war. These revelations, if true, threaten a monarchy already laboring under public skepticism and internal power struggles and also having to determine its place in an evolving role within a modern democracy. However what will this mean for Queen Camilla? But could this sense of betrayal cause a deeper rift to form, which would put her job and marriage with King Charles in jeopardy? And if there is anything we know about the history of royals, it is that their internal personal problems reverberate into public life. The monarchy is heavily based on maintaining a veneer of unity and stability. For the institution of monarchy, any suggestion of disharmony, especially between king and queen consort, is damaging. Camilla has complaints of her own, and they are no laughing matter. A lack of respect and appreciation can inspire some pretty radical solutions. As the aide indicates, 
these feelings may have been festering for some time, but if they are finally starting to come out in more pointed terms, then it could be that Camilla decides she wants to make a more explicit mark on the royal household. The other side of an equation her every step has the potential to either beef up her image or distance herself from the royals even more. We also have to think about how Charles would react in this situation. He is a king, and as so we expect decency mere and beach stabilitite van hem. As a husband, though, he finds himself in a tough spot. If he is seen to be too much in Camilla's corner, he may alienate his sons especially William whose relationship with Camilla has always been somewhat fraught. But if Charles dismisses Camilla's fears, he runs the risk of further alienating his wife. The question now is, what are Camilla's plans and how are those implemented? It has been a long and troubled road for Camilla to her future as queen consort. She endured public vilification and skepticism, among other resulting indignities. Yet somehow, she still has managed to hold on to a slither of dignity and self-respect. If that rift scenario with Charles is true, it goes into unknown areas of her relationship with the royal family, which could potentially undo all her hardy work. The alleged stress with William and Kate was yet another complicated factor. It needs no explanation that the younger generation constitutes the future of a monarchy and any dissent between them and the queen consort can lead to sinking fortunes. William and Catherine are mighty popular, bright stars of a new, modern, relatable monarchy. The split could prove so damaging that it poses a mortal threat to the unity and longevity of the royal family. The timing of which is itself quite telling. With the monarchy under more scrutiny than ever, the developments can only further erode its standing. The claim would provoke a blaze of opprobrium over her role and the nature of her marriage to King Charles, if it becomes public. In turn, this perception threat could spill over to a wider question of how the public view the monarchy generally. On others, it raises queries about the direction of the heir and a third leading the monarchy in the future. Holding the fort for Prince William, any cracks in the current setup would have serious consequences for his future kingship. William and Catherine have spent years cultivating a carefully honed image as a modernizing, stabilizing presence within the monarchy. Any implication that they are in any way at loggerheads with Camilla would scupper these efforts and risk making the last thing we need right now, a perception of disunity at the very top of the institution. At heart, the Queen Camilla and King Charles revelations underscore the personal and political bind of British monarchs. Even if the betrayal and infighting claims are false, it is a reminder that the organization has not been immune to internal discord. Everything the royal family does is under public scrutiny, and they cannot afford to be seen as weak and harbor division. But what about Camilla? If she really did feel betrayed and unappreciated, is she going to keep playing her part quietly or she will show up in new ways? The world will be watching closely to see what she does next, as will many members of the British royal family, watching in suspense for the next chapter in the increasing, L.Y., sordid and soiled royal soap opera. If there is a lesson to be taken from this episode of family dysfunction, it is that the House of Windsor still serves up more drama yet. Actually, it might be just starting. The backdoor whiffs of the Queen Camilla King Charles enmity take us into more nuances, personal animus as well as general political and societal clashes within the British royal family. And these were not just ordinary revelations of royals betraying one another within the confines of a royal marriage. The bookends raise larger questions about what Camilla is supposed to do with herself, because the prevailing wisdom is that she has some kind of unstoppable ambition and the history of a royal family grasping around for their foundation in an era when stability seemed impossible. Our first consideration was how to manage the power dynamic and personal ambition among the worthy contestants, Camilla. Camilla has made every effort to consign her reputation as the other woman in Charles and Diana's marriage to history. She was widely hated and criticized. From transitioning into the queen consort role, she has always had to fight for her seat. So is it the feeling of undervalued now not helped by the fact she possibly hasn't been getting the recognition she craves within the royal family? It is conceivable that her actions have been because she feels undervalued, 
dismissed and not a part of the decision-making process with regard to big decisions. But here begs the question, what are Camilla's real ambitions? Is she attempting to wield more influence over the direction of the monarchy moving forward, or is she just trying to maintain her stature among both royal family and public alike? One possibility is that Camilla is sensing an increased threat from the future and supposedly more influential, William and Catherine. As they grow in their popularity, Camilla might be afraid of them overtaking her and eventually taking her place. And she may think she has to flex her muscles even more to make sure she goes down in the annals of royal history. The disclosure of the cracks formed by Camilla and Charles also suggest more profound breakdowns in family relations within the firm. It is right to mention that the royal family is not just one large happy unit of people and consist always of many tensions. Generational conflicts, contrasting political outlooks and stances on national issues mean that royal family members can often have divergent perspectives and hopes. Perhaps, Camilla might be trying to regain the royal family more power. When she is left out of important decisions and big political stuff, apparently, it can make her want to reclaim her power slash voice. It might be a series of documentaries focusing on Charles's image for the modern royal family, about things like diplomacy or how to handle in media and public scrutiny. If Charles is to ascend Camilla who has been shunted aside frequently in their dealings raises other questions about his leadership. Does this imply that Charles has become more confident and is not listening to others anymore? Or is he just marking his territory as king which no one, not even the queen, his wife, can change or influence? This consideration follows on from the role that Camilla's relationship with William and Kate may well play in this. As for Camilla relationships with William was never quite there, and maybe it never will be. William, who has always been closer to his belated mother Princess Diana than Camilla, kept a certain distance from his father's wife. Meanwhile, Camilla and Catherine, symbol of a modernized royal family with her role as young mother, might envision other things. Any latent rivalry between Camilla and the young royals may have played a part in the tensions with Charles. Camilla, if she did attend and we are awaiting confirmation in the Sunday papers felt increasingly sidelined by mounting public affection for William and Catherine, could have encouraged Charles act this way for fear of being swept aside. On the other hand, this would have an impact on her relationship with Charles even in a negative way because of pressure that his son applied. The rise of William and Catherine has shifted the dynamics within the royal family, with Camilla likely feeling that she is being forced to defend her position. Such clashes on a personal level do not only sour relations, but also serve to exacerbate the existing challenges that could divide the royal family as public interest in the monarchy ebb amid troubled times. A breach of any kind would severely dent their reputation, public writings about such division and strife not only cast into doubt the legitimacy and function of, says, a royal family, but they also undermine loyalty to support for the institution. If these tensions are not deftly handled, they risk further undermining confidence in the royal family's capacity to hold together and hold the line. She remains a deeply controversial figure, to whom this revelation, if others are similarly garnished, could attract fresh hostility. In the course of any row with Charles, it could be exposed more weaknesses in her marriage and in her princeship, thereby reinforcing, albeit erroneously, doubts about them sticking together. This has served to trigger wider questions about whether the royal family can continue to offer the public a united and stable face. And secondly, where does this leave the British royals in light of all these revelations for the future? If Camilla truly feels aggrieved and sidelined, maybe she will change her tactics or even attempt to rewrite the job description as royal consort. If so, this could create a new precedent about family infighting over control and the decisions that are taken and who plays what role in family management. And if Camilla's discontent ever leaks out, it could trigger a crisis of confidence and stability in the royal family at a time when their very purpose is being questioned more than ever. But the royal family is going to have to tread carefully in these internal ties, making sure any discontent does not mutate into a public war and damage their legitimacy. This is not only an account of a royal marriage gone wrong, with insights into the developing trust issues between Camilla and Charles, 
and increased rancor with William and Catherine, but also a testament to all that the crown has lost. And a stress test for the British royal family. Camilla, feeling betrayed or thwarted in some way, will have to be careful. Not only would every step she takes impact her relationship with Charles, but it could also redefine the image of the British monarchy around the globe. The crisis is currently unfolding in the form of a declining King Charles III, how it may affect his health, and unexpected divorce filing from Queen Camilla. The trial is expected to put the British monarchy, which has been teetering on the brink of a public relations disaster for years now, all but sealing its fate as it prepares for what could be its most significant crisis in decades. This has another wearer on high alert, the shocking disclosure of King Charles III managing a severe crisis about time and he is only little remaining, plunged the royal family into turmoil. Burying herself further, the Queen Camilla has now suddenly filed for a divorce and complete this crisis that was taken as a signal of all hands on deck to speculate about the fate of His Majesty's throne. First, the stark reality of King Charles III's health. Medical experts said the king's condition had deteriorated and was considered serious and could be terminal. It is a damning blow to the one monarch who has lived his entire life preparing for a career on the throne. Not only does the king's frailty raise immediate questions about his fitness to carry out royal duties, it also casts a longer-term shadow over the stability of the monarchy. This has Brits already jittery about the longevity of their queen contemplating a royal change in circumstance sooner than expected. The news of King Charles's failing health has caused concern to grow in the UK and worldwide. An institution mired in tradition, the British monarchy's head may be at a loss. This is not an easy process, and with King Charles not being the healthiest of sorts, it is worrisome to begin pondering what could go down next. Grind all the Medicare recipients into so many literal, actual pieces of meat and send stealth squadrons to inject every last milligram of foppishness left in Prince Charles' back up London way, or will the young Prince William finally have to fill his pappy's monogrammed brogues? The public had just got used to Queen Elizabeth II's death, how would they take another royal handover, so soon? Queen Camilla has actually filed for divorce. This move by Camilla seems to be the last thing one might expect when everyone expected unity of the royals. The timing of the announcement while King lies in hospital has caused much speculation and outrage. People are asking, what would have caused her to do something so extreme at such a critical point? Other sources say Camilla has not been able to overcome long-standing issues that have been exacerbated by the king's consistently failing health. Camilla has had a difficult relationship with the royal family for years. Some see her as the faithful, undying wife of Charles. Yet beneath the surface, whispers of discord in a marriage plagued with trouble despite appearances have been all but inescapable. The fact she has decided to file for divorce now reveals they have finally reached a breaking point. Has the loneliness of her job and the strain of Charles's illness brought her to a point where she feels she cannot go on? Is there something more tactical going on here? Or is this an act of decoupling with a monarchy she thinks is on the brink of failure? Whatever the motives behind it, and Camilla's decision has incited a firestorm of controversy, further aggravated in its vitriol by recent accusations that she got help scouting NHS locations for her shot scar from 72-hour delivery service Queen's newest confidant Alexandra Sasha Swan. The move only serves to deepen divides within the royal family. Now there are crises looming on two fronts, the failing health of the king, and now Camilla's abrupt removal. The family too would have undergone unimaginable emotional turmoil. It must seem like he's been through the ringer and back, having already gone through several family crises of his own, not to mention here is a future king whose father is sick with COVID-19, a bad look for anyone in any walk of life as far as public opinion on the state of their family goes. That is making Prince Harry, who was already estranged from his family, even more isolated. Realistically, there are enormous logistical consequences in addition to the emotional ones. Should the divorce pass, it could significantly change the setup of the royal family and how responsibilities are divided Ina the monarchy. This is a clan that, at this juncture like never before, are depending on the court of public opinion and solidarity, 
and such a move might disrupt the status quo cause even more damage to an already stigmatized brand. The concern is one of succession. As the UK looks to an uncertain future with a King Charles in ever-worsening health, all eyes will be on Prince William. William, as the eldest son, is obviously being lined up for the throne but a family crisis, and particularly a divorce, would be more of an issue. He will have to handle the duties of what may be an accelerated pathway toward taking the throne, and contend with the PR nightmare that his stepmother has unleashed. It is unclear what exactly motivated Camilla to file for divorce during this time of health crisis, but that kind of decision suggests a deeper dissatisfaction, or perhaps even strategic planning. Is it possible she is setting herself up for life after the royal household, taking setting a rather pragmatic view of what may lie in store for the members of this ancient institution? Or is she just running away from something that's no longer survivable for her specifically? Camilla, it should be noted that since joining the royal family, has always been a bit of an outlier. She has spent decades in public life trying to win over the British people, but never totally shaken off a feeling that she was suspect and untrustworthy. There has been a lingering Diana effect and Camilla was made to work twice as hard for acceptance. Maybe she has simply concluded that it is no longer a battle worth fighting, not with King Charles ill and the future of the monarchy looking increasingly dubious. On the other hand, could it be a chess play to jump off a potentially sinking ship? Word has it, Charles is dealing with a life-threatening illness and any deal-breaker for Camilla may simply reflect her desire to hedge her bets and save face at the same time. She knows just how vindictive us all are going after our babies behind odious Botoxed noses. By filing for divorce she could be trying to break free from what seems like a failing institution, distancing herself from any royal downfall. Whatever her reasons, Camilla's decision sends a strong broader message about the monarchy. Her divorce filing could reopen discussions on whether the British monarchy is still a modern and durable institution, one that has traditionally projected an image of unity and fortitude. Such a high-profile public rupture at this crucial time could not be worse. It might heighten public division even more. For those already inclined to be critical of the monarchy, this will confirm suspicions its organization beset with personality conflicts. Meanwhile, diehard royalists might be dismayed about the lack of togetherness and the airing of private grievances in public. Additionally, there were legal and financial ramifications for the divorce. Being queen consort will bestow upon Camilla a certain level of power and resources, but it may affect whether or not these gifts are afforded to her. To the outside world, her withdrawal from the family will be read one of two ways, either as an effort to free herself or a woman who in their darkest hours refused to stand by her king and queen. In amongst all this chaos, the bigger question is, what does the future of the British monarchy look like? The past week of King Charles and the Camilla exit may be a dynastic inflection point. Should Charles die young Prince William will almost certainly come under fresh pressure to become king. Yet on the one hand, as William gets ready for this next period of change, he has another family to divide. In order for the British monarchy to survive and thrive, it needs to be a symbol of solidarity and power. However, the current crisis has revealed that behind all of the pomp and circumstance lies an inherent fragility and human complexity within the royal household. The ailing Charles, the Camilla divorce creates the perception of a monarchy in disrepair, fractured personal relationships on one side, heresy hunting until the bitter end on another. The royal family had never faced a crisis like this, so how they now deal with it could define their place in society for the next generation. If they act, or fail to act, on both the king's health and what the queen did yesterday, it will set a precedent for how history, and the public, will ultimately view the role of the monarchy moving forward. The British monarchy is facing an uncertain future as it deals with these dual crises. King Charles, health concerns spark worries about how royal duties will change, Queen Camilla divorce filing looms over his rule, family. Unity and public image, but for Merrill to miss the easy lay at an event like Wimbledon because taking a photo with a shady hustler would hurt the perceived credibility of her image is an element of cunning I just don't buy from my pussy squad goals darling maintenance years. Why Camilla is divorcing Prince Charles
Will the general public come to the aid of royal relatives in time of crisis, or has their popularity declined even further through this disaster? Those questions will be answered over the next few months and, no doubt, determine the future of the British monarchy. But for the moment, they are focused squarely upon the Windsor House as it muddles its way through these turbulent days. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.